Hi, I'm Jonathan Stark, and I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about why I've been so disappointed with the uh, Verizon uh, MiFi. Um, I saw David Pogue talking about this, I think it was on CNN, I'm not really sure, but I was really excited about it because I spend a lot of time um, online and mobile, and I was previously using, where are you? previously using this Verizon USB modem to connect to the internet from places like Starbucks and uh, uh, the middle of the woods, train, you name it. Um, was very happy with it actually, but one of the problems with it is that when it's plugged into the computer, I can't plug in another USB plug right there, so I can't charge my iPhone. Um, while this is plugged in. Another thing is that when this is plugged in, um, it's not, it's tethered. It's not acting like uh, a Wi-Fi device. So what that means is you have to launch this application and it's sort of ugly and clunky and Windowsy, and you can't connect to it using the, uh, the normal, normal um, Wi-Fi, the network connection on the Mac. So um, yeah, it's not too bad, but I wasn't a big fan of that. Didn't really like having that installed on there. Um, but it doesn't take a battery. It's just if it's plugged in, it's plugged in and it works as long as the computer has power. So that's really nice because you don't have to worry about an extra battery. Just worry about your computer. Um, so uh, I was excited about the MiFi because I was kind of picturing, and, and this is, I think is what they, why everyone was excited about it, um, is that you could sort of, charge this thing up at home, throw it in your backpack or your pocket, and head down to the coffee shop and just connect magically to the internet with your personal wireless hotspot. So when you turn it on like that, you get these two bright lights and the bottom one indicates whether or not you're connected to the internet. And it's connected to the cell phone network. Once it starts flashing that will mean that it is, uh, we are ready takes a second. Sometimes it takes a really long time and it's kind of confusing because the Mac will show it in the um, in the network as a network option. So now if I go up here and click on this, you'll be able to just see that. There it just popped in. And so now we're connected to it. So the Mac thinks it's just connected to a wireless router. And in fact this is a wireless router connected to, or it's, it's in one device it's a wireless router and a, a, a uh, cellular modem, a 3G modem. So another one of the advantages um, of that is that if I'm in an area where I don't have uh, AT&T service, which regrettably is pretty common, uh, I can connect my iPhone over Wi-Fi to the Verizon wireless modem, I'm sorry, the you know, the MiFi, and get on the internet that way and, and uh, have both my computer and my iPhone connected over Verizon's network. And if my girlfriend's with me, she can connect her laptop and iPhone to it as well. You can have up to five devices connected to the modem. So that's all great. It all sounds great. Uh, another advantage of that, which was not immediately obvious to me, was that the iPhone will do certain things when it thinks it's on a wireless network that it won't do when it's on the 3G network. So, for example, you can't download uh, large podcasts or something like that on the uh, on the iPhone if you're on the 3G network. Uh, but if you're connected over Verizon uh, with the MiFi, it doesn't know that it's on 3G and it will let you do whatever you want. So that's pretty cool. So the first day I was very excited and I went down to Starbucks and I threw it on the table and within, I would, eh, I'm gonna say, an hour, uh, well, it seems like it was about an hour, but let's say it was two or three hours, uh, the battery was dead and uh, I had it in my bag. I didn't know the battery was about to die. Uh, it turns out that this light does flash red when it's getting ready to die, but you know, if you have it in your pocket or in your bag, you don't know that. It might be nice if it beeped once or something, give you some indication uh, other than visual. But once it dies, it dies, and all of a sudden your whatever you were doing is over with. And you have to plug it into either the computer or the wall. And the wall is less confusing, so we'll look at that first. What you get uh, in the box is this this wire. Let's see if you can go back.
back out a little bit. It's very tangled, as you can see, and it's very rigid. And this is probably not a big deal. Uh, it doesn't seem like a big deal on the surface, but the, the device is so small that it makes it difficult to even lay it on the table flat because the wire is like yanking it around. And I've already, on several occasions, pulled the whole thing onto the floor uh, because the cord gets tangled on itself. Uh, it's also flat out difficult to put away, uh, to put in your bag. You can't really coil it up. Um, I've resorted to sticking it in a Ziploc bag, which makes me feel ridiculous. But uh, otherwise, it completely fills the inside of the backpack, and you can't get anything else out without ripping everything out of the bag. Very annoying. Um, also, this uh, and the wall wart is really large and uh, frequently covers up two spaces on the outlet, which is super annoying. Uh, also, this uh, it wants to snap shut. It has a fairly strong spring pulling it down, so um, every time I go to plug it into the wall, you know, you're know, you reaching under a table and you can't quite see it, it ends up snapping shut and I have to get back up and get my other hand and flip it open again and give it another shot. Um, the other problem with this is that if you're at a Starbucks or you know an airport or something like that, uh, you probably aren't going to have the luxury of two open outlets. Uh, there's probably going to be someone else with their phone plugged in or their laptop plugged in, and it's extremely rude to take up two spots on the uh, on the electrical outlet for one person. Um, so, all that be that as it may, something to. Consider. So now I plug it in, and and great. Now it, it works just the same as it did before. I can still connect to it wirelessly. It's still running as a wireless router and a cellular modem. So that's all well and good, but now I'm not really wireless anymore. Now I'm plugged into the wall. 